April 11th, 2017. Just draining the old ram pump reservoir down. Uh, gonna do some flow testing before I put new uh, valve upgrades in tomorrow. See if there's any difference between the old valves and the new valves. Anyway, I uh, actually wanted to give a quick tour here. I uh, blazed down most of the old sweet corn patch from last year. Getting this area prepped up for planting. I want to get an early start on everything this year. And uh, the main reason I brought you out here was to show you the garlic. German white garlic. It's all mulched in nicely now. I uh, had mulched this before the last cold spell we had uh, back in early March and the wind was so strong it blew all the mulch off so I had to put most of it back. Anyway, I filled it in thicker and uh, I put down uh, a big, uh, I think it was a 20 gallon trash can of chicken manure and uh, about a 4 gallon bucket of coffee grounds and then mulched on top of that and then irrigated it into spring water. Look at that sprinkler right there gravity fed from the reservoir up in the top of the barn. Anyway, uh, just so I do a quick update, uh, you can see the grass is starting to turn green. Things are taking off. Spring is here. We had 88 degrees in the shade and 90 something uh, out by the greenhouse today. Weather was beautiful. so. Yeah, I think excited for the dirty. We'll do the flow check on camera here. Uh, I have the inch and a quarter valve in right now because the inch and a half valve keeps failing. Uh, swing check. Changing that to a foot valve. We'll get into that in a bit. Let's see what we get for fill time. I'm going to start the timer here at 19.05. Stop time at 1927 for one full quart. As we can see, we're actually a little over the quart line. 1905, 1927, talking 22 seconds, I think. It's not bad. Well, we'll see how it performs tomorrow after uh, a refill or uh, new valves. April 12th, 2013. I'm going to do some upgrades to the ram pump today. Change out some valves. But before we go do that, I <clears throat> wanted to show you a uh, put in a, uh, a new free strainer in place. Whoa, that's deep! Uh, basically, just uh, filled out four inch holes on the front side, one four inch hole on the back for the pipe to plug in and stuck a piece of window screen down there for now. Eventually I'll probably upgrade that to uh, like probably something like quarter inch mesh or some type of hardware cloth. Basically just a pre-filter to keep the, uh, the bigger debris from getting down into the secondary filter system. Uh, anyway, just thought I'd uh, give a quick note on that. And uh, we'll go get started on the RAM upgrades. Okay, so uh, this is the old setup with the old inch and a half swing check valve on it and the old plastic spring check valve. We're going to replace both of these valves with these two valves. This is the spring check and this is the foot valve which would be replacing the top swing valve. So uh, hang on a minute, I'll do some disassembly. So uh, a big part of the reason I'm replacing uh, this valve with this valve is uh, mostly about the fact that this is made of uh, red brass, which is a nice hard brass and uh, should last a lot longer under the working conditions it's under. Um, and also because they actually make 
on the brass valves they make the the hole that goes through there you should be able to see that yeah the hole that goes through there is much larger in this one than this one as you can see this is a much smaller hole and uh, so I, I expect that will equate to a little more flow and also I noticed after I took this valve off that actually the spring is failing on the spring check valve so uh, this timing worked out uh, excellent so yeah um, so that's comparison between those two valves this one as you know was a spring check and you can see how much play there is in that swing flapper so we're looking to eliminate that by using the foot valve instead of the spring check which will put everything on the guide and keep the valve centered so uh, I'm hoping for some performance gains um, I'm going to change these out and then uh, we'll turn the water back on and do some testing. So, uh, yeah, stand by. All right, standpipe is overflowing. Indicating that we removed all the bubbles from the drive line and uh, the valve is in. All the valves, both valves are in. These are the two valves we replaced, if you recall. Uh, I have to say, these certainly look a lot nicer and you can tell they're a much better quality build. Um, I haven't even hooked the delivery line back up yet, uh, but I did prime a little pressure in the pump, testing around, and uh, wow, what do you see how smooth this runs? Nice and quiet. Nice and smooth. I like it. I don't know, it doesn't seem to let as much volume through on the uh, on the cycle, so it may not improve delivery. But, uh, you know, I'm sure there's lots of tweaking to be done still. But I have to say it runs nice and smooth and quiet. Very uniform. And, uh, we started at 20 PSI before. We're up to 40 now, I think. I gotta keep the top of this gauge right now. Yeah, we're up to 40. So that's good. So I guess I'm going to hook the delivery line back up now, and uh, we'll get things all squad away here. Okay, so she's been running about 10, maybe 15 minutes, and uh, we're recharging. I actually had to drain the entire delivery line, so I had to disconnect it, and I don't have a separate valve when the pump comes out. So uh, we're recharging the entire delivery line, which is about 800 feet long and climbs about 65 or 70 vertical feet. Uh, so at the moment, we're pushing just close to 25 PSI. So that means we're just about back full in the line. So soon we'll go up and do some uh, volume delivery testing. Um, and I'll probably do a couple different tests. Uh, I probably will test both this valve and the regular inch and a half check valve with the, uh, with the new brass spring check, and I want to see if there's a volume delivery difference between the two. Anyway, my point is, uh, once you hear that this is much quieter, and we'll go up and take a listen at the stamp pipe, because uh, if you watch my diagnostics and tips video on ram pumps, uh, I discussed how important the sound of a ram pump is for easy diagnosis. So, we'll have a look. Uh, we're definitely not using as much water. We were pulling down below the purple line there before um, with the other check valve on it. So, uh, looks like we'll be able to use less water to do the same job. Um, so, that's good. It's a good first uh, impression. Um, notice the sound is a little different.
real solid thud, uh, much better than what we were getting before. I suspect uh, some of the issues I was having with that inch and a half swing check actually had to do with that spring check valve uh, going bad. Anyway, I wanted you to hear the standpipe so you could hear the difference. And uh, now we'll go up and do the real test and see what the volume delivery is up there. We'll take a measurement. Uh, yesterday I had the inch and a quarter swing check on instead of the inch and a half because I was having trouble with the inch and a half. Um, we measured 22 seconds to deliver a quart at the barn. Uh, so we'll go take a measurement now and see if our time to delivery for that same quart is down. And hopefully it will be. Alright, so hang tight. We're going up to the barn. Well, so here we are. Uh, first test. Well, tell you what, let's start that with the timer. Uh, 2805. So it's like 25 seconds, so it looks like it's down a little bit uh, with the new valve setup. Uh, 25 seconds versus 22 seconds. Um, I suspect that has to do with the outlet space or size of the uh, um, impetus valve. So I probably will machine that out a little bit at some point. Um, and. Uh, be able to let a little more volume through, um, but I'm not wholly unhappy with that. Uh, the pump is definitely running much smoother, and all the pipes and infrastructure supporting it are taking a lot less abuse, so uh, that's good, and it should last a long time. So, um, I will be doing some tweaking, um, and actually before I do that, Let's go trade out quick and put the inch and a half swing check valve back in and see if we increase our volume any that way. Okay, replace the inch and a half uh, foot valve with the inch and a half spring check on the impetus. I would say there's a visual improvement, but let's find out for real. 29.50 we start at. I should also mention that uh, inch and a half is really slapping hard. I think if we machine the uh, opening out a little bit on that foot valve, we'll be set. Right there, 30, 10. 29, 50 to 30, 10. 20 seconds. So yeah, a little faster. 20 seconds is, uh, it's, well, it's about three quarters of a gallon a minute, right? This, three quarts a minute. So, um, didn't really change volume a whole lot, a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, but, uh, definitely, definitely deliver some water. Um, I'll be doing some new experiments coming up here, probably in a couple weeks. Uh, gotta get the funding together. Um, so anyway, so that's, uh, that concludes the, uh, ramp pump upgrade for the 13th of April. And uh, hopefully that gives you a better idea how to improve the efficiency of yours. Uh, thanks for watching the Pharmacy Feeds Network.